Within Chicago, there exists a surprisingly large and mostly unknown geologic impact crater. I am not referring to downtown Chicago, but rather one of its suburbs towards the northwest. There, just north of the O'Hare International Airport at the city of the Plains, is the remnants of a 5-mile or 8-kilometer wide impact crater. The only reason we cannot easily spot this feature today is that it was filled by glacial till during the recent ice age when glaciers at times stretched as far south as the city of Carbondale in far southern Illinois. As a result, over two million years, what may have been a fairly pristine crater was buried by between 50 and 250 feet thick of glacial till. While this complex impact crater likely originally had a circular shape, it is mapped as having an oblong and jagged profile due to this representing the location of known faults that form its crater rim edge in the impact deformed bedrock below. So, what evidence exists that proves this buried feature is an impact crater? For one, in its center, the bedrock is seemingly uplifted in a fairly circular shape, being about 800 feet higher than where it should be located. This marks a central peak which is found in all Earth-based impact craters with a diameter of greater than 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles. Also, in the largely Silurian period bedrock, there are planar microfractures which have been found that indicate a high pressure impact origin which formed all the way back in what is today Chicago was the site of a large sea. When you combine this with the shatter cones that have been found here and layers of limestone and dolostone, it is clear cut that the Des Plaines disturbance, as it was formerly called, is indeed an impact crater. So, how old is this feature, and how large was the asteroid which created it? For its age, we are currently unsure, although current evidence limits its age to being younger than the youngest bedrock, which is 280 million years old, and older than the glacial till that buries the crater, which is up to 2 million years old. Due to the level of erosion present, I would guess that this crater is on the older end of this spectrum, perhaps originating during the Middle Permian period around 265 million years ago. Regardless of its exact timing, long ago there was an approximately 500 meter or 1640 foot asteroid on a collision course with Earth. Likely knocked into a more variable orbit by an encounter with a larger asteroid, this asteroid had a low density and a composition similar to that of an L-chondrate. In other words, it was probably composed of grains of rock and dust that cemented together during the early solar system 4.5 billion years ago. As this 220 million metric ton asteroid began to approach Earth, it continued to accelerate, reaching a speed of 17 kilometers per second, or 38,000 miles per hour. Entering our planet's upper atmosphere, a bright streak of light would have become visible across the sky, causing many reptiles at the time to look up out of curiosity. Then, 10 seconds later, this asteroid impacted ancient Illinois long before any Great Lakes existed, releasing a tremendous amount of energy equivalent to approximately double that of the world's combined nuclear weapons detonating a.k.a. about 7,360 megatons of TNT. As a bright fireball was created, any creature who witnessed it within a 50 mile radius would have immediately suffered third degree burns, while all trees ignited alone instantaneously causing second degree burns for any living thing within a radius of 62 miles. Simultaneously, the hard rock at the impact site was heated to such a degree that it temporarily acted like a liquid, quickly falling back into the crater to form a central peak. As a several thousand mile per hour shockwave raced outwards, it would flatten all trees and vegetation facing outwards from the blast in a radius of 75 miles. After the falling ejecta ceased, what remained was a 5 mile wide and 1,820 foot deep crater in the ground. While rare, impacts of this size appear to occur on Earth about an average of once every 140,000 years.